Now to Ferguson, Missouri, bracing for any possible backlash when the grand jury weighs in, deciding whether to charge the white police officer who shot and killed the unarmed black teenager, Michael Brown. Tonight, the governor there now under scrutiny after his answer when asked who's responsible for what could come next. ABC Steve Osinsami is there. He's the governor who just declared a state of emergency in Missouri, calling up the National Guard, seen here in August, to come back to Ferguson. But listen to what he said when asked if he is ultimately responsible for keeping the peace. Does the buck ultimately stop with you when it comes to how any protests are policed? Well, I mean, uh, we're, we're um, you know, it... Uh... It was a news conference over the phone the governor himself called. Uh, it's, it's uh, um, you know, we'll, uh, I just don't want to get into operational details. I guess, I guess another way of putting that would be, you know, is there any one official or, or agency ultimately in charge here in, in terms of response? Well, I mean, it uh, clearly, I mean, I, I... These are clearly sensitive times in Missouri. The grand jury debating possible charges in the police shooting death of Michael Brown could finish any day now. And authorities worry the racially charged case could bring even more of this. Demonstrators fighting with police in the streets and thieves using the case as an excuse to rob and loot. At an event in Ferguson today where he swore in a commission to look into the issues here, he took a little more ownership. What's your hesitation there? I mean, immediately after signing an executive order calling up uh, the assets of the state, uh, I, quite frankly, I thought it was relatively obvious. <laughs> Tonight, the government is warning police assigned to work the streets here that they could be targets for extremists. Police here are telling us it's important to remember they have families too. David?